Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're gonna get an update on how your person feel about you right now. Today is the twenty third of January, twenty twenty four. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, is ten thirty five a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Virgo's person, how how do they feel about Virgo right now? Think about the person you like to know, Virgo. And please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. Wow. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, look at the Six of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Bear in mind again, it could go vice versa. Your person either could be feeling intimidated, intimidated, <laughs> intimidated by you, or they feel you're intimidated by them. Okay. Because the Six of Wands, as you can see, this person is basking in his glory. He just came back from a battlefield doesn't matter he or she it's not gender specific a lot of like supporters very attractive or very um successful in some way shape or form have you know many admirers so virgo 901s right here look at how scared this person is right it's like it feels like oh you know i think virgo might hurt me or i feel intimidated by virgo um because this person is actually hurt, right? But again, it could go vice versa. Your person will be feeling you're intimidated. You're intimidated. I can never say that word, right? You're intimidated by them, or um, you are afraid that it would uh, hurt you, okay? Not a pentacles here, it's in love first. This kind of, the not a pentacles, somebody very loyal, very stable, right? Very committed. Your person either may be afraid that you, you're not committed or, or, okay, or that they, they're afraid to commit, okay, because they're afraid to get hurt with another one. Um, or you're afraid to commit because you're afraid to get hurt. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, in reverse, it's also this energy, if you look at all these three, three cards right here, right? It's like, I'm not, maybe I'm not as, you know, stable as Virgo. This is kind of, because this is a very grounded energy. So when you talk about ground, ground is on the floor, right? Ground is on the floor and this person is sitting on a horse. So definitely higher up. So they may feel like they don't have what you have or the kind of success that you have, stability that you have, um, whatever it could be, right? So the main word that I have been struggling saying <laughs> is intimidated. Okay, very intimidated by you, unless it's vice versa. Okay, now we've got the sun here and reverse. So this is supposed to be a very positive card, although it's in reverse. It's that energy of... There is so many positive things about you that in turn could become a negative, right? Um, for example, Virgo, if you're a very successful Virgo, your person might feel, I say your person is the person on your mind, okay? Um, it can be anybody. This could be a romantic connection or friendship, family tie, whatever. Um, whatever connection, whoever you could be thinking about right now. Now, the sun in reverse is supposed to be a very positive thing. Now, Virgo, for example, it's almost like that energy, like if Virgo, you are doing very, very well or very attractive, it's a good thing for you, but it's a bad thing for them, right? Especially if the person is insecure. Sometimes when court cards are in our first, it does, it could mean insecurities, right? 
I remember a friend telling me like, oh, I want a boyfriend, but I don't want him to be too good looking. If he's too good looking, I'll feel insecure because all the girls will be trying to get his attention because the six of ones indicates attention, right? But it could go vice versa, right? Your person may feel like um, that you're insecure, right? Because they've got a lot of attention from others. Um, so that's that kind of thing, right? Being good looking, it's a good thing. You know, I'm pretty sure you've heard pretty privilege. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a good thing, but it could also go against you. Um, for example, when I also, when I started my YouTube channel, my main channel, not this one, this is my third channel. Um, I still remember when the subscribers started to pour in very quickly in the beginning part. Um, my, I, I remember a few of my friends, they would always say the first, the first thing they would, they, would, they would always say is like, oh, that's because you're pretty. I said, no, I don't even show my face on that channel. As you can see, same thing like on this channel. You can only hear my voice, you can see my hands. And my hands are not even groomed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wear those, I don't have long nails and do many, I used to once in a while. But that's because I want the focus to be the message. I want to be appreciated for what I've got to say, what I've got to offer besides just, you know, the way you know, the way I look, because I was a model for a very long time. So that was what I was being, I was being judged on almost all my life. So this is like really nice. It is a nice feeling, right? But people would always tell me, that's because you're pretty, until I say I don't show my face. Then they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like they can't believe it, right? Especially my, my friends who are like low-key jealous. So, Virgo, that's that energy, right? Virgo, you can be very successful. Um, or you have a lot of money, and then this person may feel emasculated by it, by you being more successful than them, especially as a man. But it could also be a woman, but it doesn't matter. It's not gender specific, okay? But something that is so good about you is going against you in, in this person's mind because it creates fear, insecurities in them, nine of wands. Now, Virgo, the Ten of Swords and Mother's Canicate separation, for those of you who are separated from your person, they may feel like, okay, very pessimistic, right, about reconciling with you because maybe they feel like with the Six of Wands, you're doing better without them, um, you're achieving things without them. So they may feel like, mm, I'm not sure if Virgo would even give me a time of a day or that you have other admirers or other, you know, options, it could mean that. But the six of wands, again, can get attention. So your person may actually want to get attention from you. This could mean that as well. Um, but they feel like, okay, maybe it's best if I forget about it. <laughs> Release Virgo, nine of wands, because strength here is in love first. This is a lack of courage kind of energy. If it's vice versa, Virgo, your person may feel like you are not confident, um, like you're insecure, your lack of courage to take certain uh, steps with them. It could mean that as well, okay? Six of Swords. This Six of Swords, sometimes, you know, I read it as, of course, we all know it. It means like, moving towards karma water. But it could also mean like I'm leaving, right? Because the back is facing us. And that's a child right here. So, and they don't look happiest. <laughs> Even it's just the back, look at it, right? They don't look the happiest. So your person may feel sad that you're leaving or you have left if this is a separation connection, that connection that is separated. But if not, this could also mean that your person may feel a little, it's almost like, it's better if I just leave quietly. It feels very quiet because the water looks calm. And the way this lady with the, it's, 
she's completely covered. It's almost like this energy, like of reminded me of the hermit. It's like I don't want anybody to see me leaving. I'm embarrassed. I don't feel that I'm good enough for Virgo. They could be feeling this way. Or Virgo, if it's vice versa, it could be feeling you're like quietly leaving, leaving them. It feels quiet to me right now because it's very calm. Like you, you may have turned your back on them or on your way to turning your back on them. It could mean that as well because it doesn't serve your highest good anymore. And so I'm going to a better place, that kind of an energy that I'm picking up on. See, five of swords in my verse, just feeling really defeated, right? Either they feel like you're not trying hard enough, you're not, you don't have the courage, you're intimidated, intimidated, <laughs> insecure, or it's their feelings, okay? Feeling defeated, not good enough for you. And Ace of Cups here is in my verse. Oh, can't, can't give you what you want because the Nine of Pentacles is in my verse. Or can't give you what you want right now um, because the Nine of Pentacles is also a very slow energy. Now, Ace of Cups here is in reverse. Feeling rejected, feeling overwhelmed. A lot of these emotions, because the water indicates emotions, right? So they may feel kind of emotional, a little sad, um, feeling like, oh, that's a very dreadful energy I'm picking up on. Another thing I'm seeing here is Virgo. The Six of Wands is supposed to be a very confident energy because this person just came back from a battlefield. So I'm happy, I'm confident, yay, you know, I did it, that kind of an energy. But then it's facing the Nine of Wands. So for some of you, this part is very specific. It's just for a few of you, maybe, okay? Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. It's that energy of like, yeah, I may seem confident, but deep down with the Nine of Wands and that Pentacles and Ace of Cups in my verse, I feel all, all sorts of emotions that make me feel weak, okay? This person could be feeling that way about you or they could be thinking you feel that way about them, right? Let's see more Virgo. I love you guys so much, Virgo. Thank you for all the comments. You guys are so sweet. Um, oh, for those of you who like to book me for a personal reading, very, very highly accurate. I wouldn't dare to say that if I haven't done this for four years. I mean, one year prior to my starting a YouTube channel, I've done hundreds and hundreds of readings. and I've not had one person telling me that I'm not accurate. <laughs> and also, this is the recent, the, my, my recent announcement. Like I've been saying, I'm highly accurate because people always tell me that. And before that, I would never say that because I was, I was still like doubting myself. Um, but then I shouldn't doubt myself anymore because it's proven, right? But anyway, if you want to book me for personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. You can send me an email or you can, there's so many options, right? Um, live video call or two to three days pre-recorded reading, emergency reading. Um, you can choose if you want to, okay? These are general readings, so I always say that don't take it word for word, okay? Don't take it word for word and don't apply it directly to your life either. It's just a general reading. Now, Seven of Wands is right here, Virgo. See, there's this energy of them feeling also like, I need to stand straight. I need to stand up with my head held high. Because the Six of Wands is this, it can be a little bit arrogant. I'm crossing my heart here, Seven of Wands, with the, the wand crossing the heart. It's like I'm protecting myself. I'm not going to let Virgo see that I sweat, that I'm sad, that I feel terrible. Um, see the sun here, similar verse. I have to maintain my cool and my calm, six of ones. It's almost like that energy of them psyching themselves up, right? Unless it's vice versa, Virgo, then they could be feeling like you're protecting yourself, you're defensive, you're defending your heart, you don't want to get hurt. 
So you could be releasing them because of that or that they may feel like they might have to release you because if you are going to be so defensive or if you are not going to let them in, then they wouldn't, then they, they have no choice, right? They have no choice but to leave. Bear in mind, this is the reason why, reason why I read like this. It's because I understand that this is a general reading, okay? Because it's impossible for each and every one of you to... Uh, it cannot apply to everyone, okay? But anyway, we've got the Three of Swords here in reverse. And we've got the also Queen of Wands in reverse. Your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, definitely strong Leo here, it doesn't matter. They may have a lot of um, fire in their chart, okay? I've seen like water signs who act a lot like fire, you know? So it doesn't matter. We have many, many signs in our chart. But I feel like this person may also have pride, okay? Unless they feel you have pride. It's a very prideful energy. I don't want anybody to see me cry. I don't want anybody to see me sweat. I don't want anybody to see me vulnerable, see me as a loser. I don't want that. So I'm going to stand my ground with the seven of ones and the six of ones, keep my head held high, and act as though I'm okay. But actually, I'm not okay, right? The sun in my verse is sort of, to me right now, like a moon. Right, what is the opposite of the sun? The moon. So if it's a moon now because the sun is in reverse, that means they're hiding. They're hiding their feelings for you or they're hiding their vulnerabilities from you, okay? Queen of Wands in reverse. You could be embodying the Queen of Wands. Ooh, but I see you right here, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so if you're embodying the Queen of Wands in reverse, your person may feel like, Wow, Virgo, because the Queen of Wands is somebody so alluring, so popular, right? Same goes to Six of Wands. If you're also embodying Six of Wands, then it's them feeling like Virgo is popular, Virgo is good looking, Virgo is successful, and maybe Virgo is going to hurt me, so I'm not going to let Virgo hurt me. Again, it boils down to insecurities. Um, and feeling intimidated, intimidated by you. <laughs> Why do I even try to say that word so many times? <laughs> but um, Virgo could go vice versa too, okay? It could be them feeling like, you're popular, you have a lot of options, and um, that, that they're pop, sorry, that they're popular, they have a lot of options, and that may have created some sort of insecurities in you, okay? It could mean that as well. So we've got the Three of Pentacles right here. You know, the thing is, Virgo, they feel like, they feel like if you allow them, because the seller wants such a protective, like there's a wall in front of you, right? If you allow them to work with you, to, if you allow them, it could be successful, okay? But it could also go vice versa, them feeling as though if they allow you to come into their life, come into their heart, if they open, there's this like feeling of maybe this can work out, right? This is workable because of the three pentacles right here. But there's definitely a blockage here, seven on one, someone being like, hey, no, I don't want to be in a relationship or hey, no, I don't want to partner with Virgo. Uh, I don't want to hang with Virgo, whatever kind of connection you may have with your person, okay? Now, the Fool here is in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. If you're separated, because there are a few cards that indicates a separation. Now, whenever I say separation, it may not always mean like a breakup. It could mean that or divorce. It could mean that, but it could also mean both of you are far apart from each other. Maybe your person is living in another country or traveling or you know, just not right next to each other, okay, whatever the case is. So, the Fool here is in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's, um, it's them feeling, if both of you separate, they could be feeling as though, will this be a mistake, right? Will this be a mistake? 
to reconcile? Would it be a mistake? But definitely entertaining the thought of reconciliation, because this three of pentacles is right here. But this is major arcana. So the major arcana always trump the, mi the minor, which is this one. And so the full in reverse is I'm feeling like, would this be a mistake if I was to fix things with Virgo, if we were to reconcile, or them feeling like you, fe you wonder if it would be a mistake to reconcile with them, okay? Queen of Pentacles, whatever the case is, Virgo, your person still has a lot of respect for you, finds you to be um, husband material, wife material, no gender here, okay? Or just somebody very reliable, dependable, somebody very loyal, somebody who's got their stuff together, okay? Or it could be them feeling like maybe we can get our stuff together, together, together. <laughs> You and me, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that kind of energy that I'm picking up on. But definitely, the thing is, Virgo, you're in an upright position. So despite all of these fear or um, doubts, okay, they still feel like you are the one that, that they can rely on. Um, you still are the best candidate, okay? Let's see, just a little bit more for go. Five of Cups in my verse. I do see them thinking a lot about you, yeah, Nine of Swords. But it could also them feeling like you're overthinking things. Um, you're paying too too much attention to details. It could mean that as well. Seven Pentacles in my verse. This is like a wasted energy, right? Um, right now, at this moment, I feel that them this could be that feeling of your person's just like oh either i should have spent more time with virgo i should have focused more on virgo now i kind of regret that i didn't focus on virgo but it could also mean that them feeling like you should have focused on them that you should have worked with them right if it's vice versa and again, the Seven Pentacles is like a wasted energy. Um, they may feel like they've wasted time, wasted their energy on you, or that they feel you feel you have wasted your time and energy on them. Okay, and whichever the case is, they still they don't like they don't like that. Okay, Nine of Swords. They don't feel good about that. Let's pull out some of these romance angels here. Let's see more. Virgo's person's feelings towards Virgo. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Let me feel like both of you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Oh, lately you guys have had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and they're reviewing that, okay? Retreat, passion, forgiving and learning, healing family issues, past life relationship. Some of you, the person in your mind right now, your person could be an ex, okay? Or someone you're going through some issues with, if that's the case. They may be feeling like you need to, you, they want you to forgive them or that they wonder they should forgive you, okay? And healing family issues, yeah, there's this energy of wanting to reconcile and fix things with you. Um, but to reconcile and fix things with you, but also, again, there's this energy of either I'm scared, is it going to be a mistake, or is this going to be successful? If we were to fix things, it could be them feeling that way or feeling you feeling that way about them, okay? Passion, the passion is still there. So your person is still interested, still passionate about you. But I do see them very guarded or them feeling like you are very guarded, okay? Retreat, they could be feeling they need to kind of get away from this 
situation or feeling like you need to take yeah, somebody's taking a break here okay or some sort of separation and you know six of swords i do right now want to read it as moving towards common water fixing things basically and but the thing is the strength of our first and nine of wands they're definitely very guarded kind of energy either they're very guarded feeling as though like I cannot betray my my pride. I can't betray my yeah, what I believe in. Um, or them feeling like you're so like you're standing your ground to a point where they find it really hard to convince you, okay? There's there's like these difficulties because either one of you is just like I'm not letting this person in. Okay, whether it's you or them. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open again for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. I have four channels all together. If you want to catch me live, go to Chelsea Love Tarot. Okay, that's my main channel. Um, and during my live stream, I'll usually give personal readings i'll give personal readings but it's not free it's for a super chat only but that's for like it doesn't matter because i don't put like an amount a price or anything that's to for those of you in a on a low budget okay but the difference about that is that when i do your reading during live live stream it's it's not private right everybody hears your story here's your reading and then but if it's a private reading then it's private nobody nobody hears it and oh another thing is if you prefer a live video call um you go to link tree okay there is a link called the link tree in my description box below and also um but if you prefer like pre-recorded reading then uh, you send me an email okay all right, but the good thing about pre-recorded reading is that you can actually review your reading again. You can, you know, watch it over and over again. But if it's a live video call, then if you forget some of the information I, I tell you, I told you, then it's gone. Okay, but it's up to you. But some people prefer to have more like a live video call so that, you know, it's on the spot. Um... And they can ask as many questions as they like within that 30 minutes time. All right. Take care, Virgo. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. I love you guys. Bye.